Hi everyone, welcome to Do Daily Wednesday workout. Daz here, looking to instill a little bit of midweek motivation, at least a bit of positivity and enthusiasm to keep pushing through, keep doing all the things we need to to stay in the best frame of mind and determined to get done what we need to get done to be the best versions of ourselves. Of course, yesterday was my first day back. In terms of do daily, after a short break, really kind of made the most of that, but really chomping at the bit to get into things, get talking about it, get making myself accountable, you know, to the things I say. And today I was open to almost tell you how I'm going to attack things after reflecting on why I needed that yesterday. Check back on that episode, that you understand exactly where I'm at right now. I was hoping today to almost talk about how I'm gonna take things forward, but as these things tend to happen, another little blip, it's getting really frustrating now. I'll be honest with you, it is getting really frustrating. Too fake, I had a couple of weeks ago, I was come back with a vengeance, just waiting to get an emergency appointment. So I've been really suffering today, but that hasn't stopped me in my tracks. I've done all the things I do over a Wednesday, gone and led the running club. I was hoping to get in some activity, but that's a real no-no. Managed to do that, put out my quiz, which I put on for people at the local pub. Done that, and then one or two positive conversations as well. So today has not been a write-off. Today has not been a backward step. But I was open, like I say, to start talking about how we can take things forward. Of course, I mentioned that word there, accountability. And that's one of the big things that I kind of work off through do daily. One of the reasons I talk so openly and candidly is to make myself accountable. And yesterday I spoke how I'd not been perfect at doing the things I've, I'd, I'd said I was going to do in 2022 especially. But more recently, I've not been perfect. There has been sort of mitigating circumstances and things that have distracted me, just like this toothache, which was also a problem a couple of weeks ago. Felt ill over the weekend. It felt a little bit run down today, to be honest. Just pain in different areas. It's going to do that as well, isn't it? And with everything that's gone, I've just kind of got to realise that sometimes it's not easy just to switch into gear. And I've, I'm sort of admitting that as I'm speaking. It's not. It's been a case of that this year. A lot of false starts, and I'm I'm pretty determined to make sure that this isn't another. So whilst I've been suffering in a lot of pain, really, really sort of struggling to get on top of it, sort of mentally and physically feeling a little bit run down. You know, I'm, I've still got to do all the things I'm doing, and like I said to you there, still digging out the positives from the day which I can take and move forward with the things I used to do wanting to get back to my routines I can tick those off would have been great to do some activity but again I've got to put myself first so I'm doing the right thing in that sense and like I say one or two positive conversations that have come a little bit out of the blue which might bode well really well for the future so can only sort of work with those as and when that opportunity arises but for now it's a case of like I say taking from it what I need to really sort of evaluating where I'm at when I'm not doing a part one vlog from the weekend on a Wednesday when I'm not trying to instill the Wednesday work outside in terms of exercise it's almost about checking in to see where we're at to see how it's going and again Having only only just come back, I would would have liked to have been sort of really, really pushing on at this stage. But again, it's that point, isn't it, to check in in any given week. For me, a Wednesday is a great time. It's almost like you're coming up one side and ready to go down the other, other and work towards the nice things that come along at the weekend and having a bit of time and doing the more enjoyable things in life away from the, the mundane and the monotony of everyday work. But even though it is just the start of things, we've got to keep evaluating. So possibly come at a good time in many ways. You know, again, I'm trying to find the positive in it. Ideally, I'd like to be steamrolling ahead, bulldozing my way through the next thing. Got lots of 
big exciting plans to work to as well as these positive conversations of how I've got more ideas of how I can put some of the things that haven't quite worked in the last couple of months to even better effect going forward. So whilst it hasn't worked for me to this point with my activity, with my training, with some of the events I had planned or got planned, Great North Run was last weekend. I missed it through illness and the tooth giving me some jip. So again, I'm trying to sort of get through those, but there's ways if I really set my mind to it where I can do it even better in the future. You know, that involves a lot of training, of course, and being in great shape, which is the biggest frustration right now. But the more I kind of prolong these things in another way, in terms of the charity work I do through them and setting up events and how it could fit into some of the other enjoyable things that I do, you know, it's just kind of a work in progress and an exciting work in progress as well. Things that probably wouldn't have happened if I was full steam ahead it's given me time to think you know think how i can do it how i can find the positives again keep searching for those positives to make it work all of that will become clear in the coming weeks in the coming months of how i want to sort of take things forward you know make things a lot nicer for other people but of course keep showing the determination and desire to want to be that little bit better to get that bit fitter healthier get on top of some of these really, really niggly things. But if I don't keep talking about them, if I don't keep evaluating, if I don't keep checking in through Do Daily, it's not gonna happen because it's at that point where you sort of get a little bit bogged down, a little bit stressed. So whilst last week I missed doing Do Daily at the back end of the week, it was a little bit sort of, <sighs> a little bit frustrating, a little bit, whilst it was a good decision to make, there was a bit of, remorse in there in the fact I'd not done it and I've broken that streak but again I allowed myself that opportunity to to sort of think in a different way do daily gives me sort of clarity and almost allows me to process it and know that I'm being honest and out there and it's all sort of it's all making me accountable but when I had that time it was almost allowing me as well to just think in a slightly different way to myself build on a few thoughts, ideas, process them, come back, talk about them, get excited about them, be positive about what I'm doing. When everything starts kicking it, kicking into place, you know, that's when it almost acts as a snowball effect. Good things start to happen, another good thing happens on top of it. Just by being that little bit more determined, a little bit more bullshit today, I guess, you know, really determined to push on, even through the frustrations of what's happening right now with my teeth, with my illness, you know, the, the illness is not, a, it's only a minor thing and I'm getting through that part of it. But one, one thing after another is frustrating, but once I'm sort of pushing through that, the right conversations with the right people at the right time, just start to make things happen. And I'm hoping by the way it's been, you know, speaking to people constantly, accepting that things haven't been perfect, that I haven't been perfect, that I haven't done some of the things I've said, but all we can do once it's happened is start to put it right. Today has felt like the start of that. I could have done without the annoyances, you know, without the pain. But again, we keep pushing forward, don't we? At the end of the day, we've got to do what's right for us. Today's been just that. It's been easy to sit and wallow and sort of moan and groan about what's not happening and how it's not happening quickly. But sometimes it's all about the small steps. It's acting in the present, keep acting in the present. And as the future comes, you know, that snowball starts to get bigger and bigger and things start happening. And I'm hoping from these kind of humble beginnings again, um, whilst it's all fantastic, don't get me wrong, when I say humble, everything that's happened recently has been absolutely amazing and really exciting. But I've all, almost mentioned how I want to reset to a point where my life changed massively. When I started running, looking out for myself, you know, putting myself first, things changed massively to the point where I've got to recently. I want to make massive changes again. Nobody's expecting it of me. Nobody's demanding it. You know, it's something I want to do for myself. 
but all I can do is look back to how it worked, look back where it went wrong. And once the difficulties sort of remove themselves, the barriers, the, the things that are sent to testers, it's about pushing through and going full steam ahead. So again, whilst that's not quite happened today, it's a day to be positive. I could do without the suffering, suffering, but tomorrow, regardless of how that is, hopefully I'll be taking action to sort it out again, get through that and be feeling even better about what I'm doing. Of course, it's Thursday thoughts tomorrow, your chance to ask me any questions. If you've got anything, please pop it on comments on this or any other video. Check out yesterday's and some of the ones that led me up to that mini break. Some great content, just my thoughts of how things are going, how we can tackle different experiences, the good, the bad, the indifferent. When the good becomes indifferent, when the bad becomes good, you know, I'm just trying to sort of explain it the best way I can. Trying to articulate it in a way that people will understand. Not trying to be clever, not trying to be technical, not trying to be scientific. Just trying to be that honest, relatable and realistic person that most of us need to reach out to at times. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from today. Hopefully you can see that that determination is there, that, that desire and positivity to get things done is building. If you don't see it today, I promise you, you'll see it in the coming weeks. But like I say, for now, if you've got any questions, please pop it in. If you've got any comments about what I've said, I'd love to receive those. Give this episode a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Going to make a massive effort we do daily in the next couple of weeks. Because I know when that one's working, little shoots of positivity come off it. Whilst it's not the most viewed YouTube channel in the world, I've got some nice um, contacts, little side earners, little jobs you know, little things to do off the back of it. And if it hadn't been for something like this, it wouldn't have happened. So it's a consistent in my life. And whilst it hasn't been for the last week or so, it's a consistent and it's important for me to do. I'd love your support. I'd love you to get involved, whichever way you can. That'd be absolutely amazing. I'll be back at eight o'clock for that live episode tomorrow. Getting out of my comfort zone. Hopefully I'm in a position to do it well. Um, to get across my thoughts, my ideas, anything you want to ask me. You might not agree with some of the things I said. You might think I can't get back to where I want to be. Absolutely anything I'm prepared to discuss and try and explain how I'm going to get there. You might think I've said something wrong. I often do. If you've got anything to ask about absolutely anything, the way I'm feeling, what I've said, what's happening in the world today, absolutely anything I'm prepared to ask it because sometimes we just need somebody to answer a question sometimes we need a different set of eyes and that's what the live episode on Thursday is all about until then guys have a fantastic evening don't forget check in see where you're at always look for where we can do it better you know and just make those small steps to make it happen until tomorrow just doing it